If you're looking for an easy way to make your game on Linux, you should take a look at Godot, a free open source game engine with robust features, like in the showcase demo I'm playing. Greetings, I'm Nils and with Boily Steam we are going to see how we is to make a game on Godot. By the way, out of curiosity, Godot has no official pronunciation, so in this video I'll try to use it all. Please let me know in the comments which one is your preferred, okay? So let's get to work! First, we need to get it. Go to their website, links are in the description. At their homepage, you can see some games made with it, learning materials and news. But what we really, really want is in the downloads page. There are a few options here. We can talk about the server version in another video. For now, stick to Linux. And unless you really want C Sharp, I recommend you to use the standard version, as most documentation and guides you will find are using it. Godot is also available in most disk repositories, but for this guide, I'll be working with a Steam version. Install and then open Godot. And you'll be greeted by the Project Manager screen. Local projects list all the projects you have on your computer. The Steam versions come with some demos. As you create more projects, they appear on this list. If the version doesn't have any demos, do not worry. You can find them on Assets Library or on the Godot GitHub. If you have the project somewhere, you can find them using the Scan button. I recommend you to try some of them, as they would address most of your needs for developing a game. For us to go through this project in, in 10 minutes, I'm gonna need you to cheat a bit. So look for the third-person shooter demo. This is the game that you saw in the beginning of the video. And download it. But do not open it, this project. We are going to just use a few of its scenes. Click a new project, give a name to your project, and select the path. You can also create a folder here if the folder doesn't exist. Create an edit. Now we have the Godot editor. On the scene panel, we can see a few starting points. Pay attention to their color code. For example, all 3D elements will have the color red. Create a 3D scene and name it to main. Nodes are the basic building blocks of Godot. Let's add a floor, it will help you understand. Right click on main, add child node, select spatial. I'm being quite fast here, but take your time you can read the description of every single node that we are adding here on the bottom of the page. So I'm going to create and rename this to floor. It doesn't mean much for now, but we are going to hang everything to make the ground on this tree. Let's set a mesh instance. So you can use the search function here, mesh, find mesh instance, remember the red, and let's add it. You can see here on the right, we have the inspector. Every node, we have a list of configurations that you can set here. So select Mesh, choose New Plane Mesh, and now we go to Transform, and let's change the scale to X10, Y1, and Z10, and this will give us a view of a floor. Remember that. Before we proceed, let's import the robot from the TPS demo. On your terminal or file system, open the path to the TPS demo and copy the folders Player and effects shared, and we are going to paste it into our, our game directory. This would save us a few hours of work. This would import the players and everything associated with it, as models, controllers, and camera. Godot you take charge of the importing, and it would be accessible from here on the file system editor. On Godot, everything we create by putting nodes in a tree is called a scene. Let's find the player scene, you can see here and everything here is in the player scene. So let's add the player scene to our main scene. We just need to find the player.tscn and drag it to our main. And now we have the robot there. To move on the 3D view, you can right click with your mouse and use the Q, W, E, A, S, G keys. You can also shift this by pressing Shift F and then Q, W, E, A, S, G. Now let's play the game. Shift F to unlock here. On the top right corner, you're going to find the play button. You can always hover on things on Godot uh, to, to read about the description and learn about some shortcuts, like here, the F5. Let's play and see what's going to happen. Oh no! <laughs> so right now we didn't save our main scene and we also didn't define what scene is supposed to play when we start the project. So let's do that. So the first thing, let's save the scene. scene save scene, the main name is okay, 
And now when you press the play, we just say that we want to play the current scene. Let's see what's going to happen with this robot. And our player is falling through. So what is going on? Let's press F8 to stop it and investigate what's going on. We know that we imported a really good player. So the problem might be with me and our scene. Our floor has no collision associated with it. So let's do that. We know that the floor needs to interact with everything else, but it stayed in place. So let's to go to the mesh instance, add child node and add a static body. Create. It's going to complain that it needs a collision shape or a collision po polygon. So let's do that. Let's right click, add child node and find those guys. We are going to add here a collision shape. On the inspector, you might be tempted to use a, a plane shape because we are using planes. The problem is it doesn't work well and also is going to be removed on future versions. So let's change from plane shape to box shape and press play to see our results. Our robot doesn't fall, but it's also not moving. And we can see on the debugger that is listing a few errors. View right, view up, move right, so on and so forth. We need to fix that. On Godot, the way to control things is through scripts. We can see here that the player has a script associated with it. It's defining everything, the camera, how it moves, how it shoots. On the line 70, physics process, we can see those names. Input is a way to process the, pl the player's input from an input map. To open the input map, go to Project, Project Settings, Input Map. And you can see that those names are, are missing here. So we need to add those. So we go to Action, we can give it a name. So let's give a name of one of those missing from the script. For example, Move Left. Then we click on Add. It's going to go at the end of the list. Here, we click on the plus sign and we choose one of the options. So let's start with Physical Key and say that we want A to move left. We can also go here, add a key. And this we press the left on our keyboard and OK. Other options, if you have a controller, you can use a joy button. So here we are going to use device zero is the first device that you plug on the computer and 14 D pad left. This is a player one. And then joy axis, if you have a analog button you can say device zero axis negative left stick left and add it because this will take some time this is the second time i cheat on this video do not worry i will put in the description the list of the names that you need to add you can also check our project repo and find the file project.godo look for the input session and copy this into your own project.godo and once you are satisfied with the mapping you can press play And we have a moving robot, shooting robot and jumping robot. I suggest you to add some walls using the same techniques that you did for the floor. You can add lights or try to import other objects. Godot Learning Center is a nice place to get some more information. Once you're happy with your game, you can go to Project, Export, add the platform of your choice, and then you click on Export Project. If you need any help or you'd like to see something on your channel, please reach us on our communities. Links are all in the description. I hope you have a great time. Cheers! And since you stayed until the end, I have a little bonus for you. Let's add some walls and change color. So, same thing on the main, add show node. Let's start our wall with spatial. Rename here for wall. Let's add a mesh instance. We change the mesh this time for cube mesh. Okay, you can change the position by dragging the arrows here, or you can go in transform and edit that. And since it's a wall, let's make it a little bit taller. So Y is going to be three, uh, and the width it uh, on X, let's put five. Okay, you can use any shape that you want. Uh, we want collision, so add show node, static body. Static body, and let's add a collision shape. Collision shape. Okay, on the collision shape, 
box shape perfect now we have our collision and maybe you don't want everything all like baby blue so let's change the color as well so let's go back to the mesh instance look here for material change the material to a new spatial material click on the white ball find albedo and select a color this is going to give a color to your object Maybe you want to add textures or other things. Uh, that, that is going to be a longer video. So you can play around this, look at the documentations for more information and try to do it yourself. But I hope you enjoyed. Now go have fun and be excellent to each other.